we're going to cover some very basic information about acids and bases. Acids are all around you. In oranges, we have ascorbic acid and citric acid. You have ants that contain formic acid when they sting you. That's the acid they inject. Your batteries contain sulfuric acid. And hydrochloric acid is used to react with many metals to produce hydrogen gas. Most of your cleaning products are bases. These are somewhat caustic to your skin, but soap is also a base and is quite mild to the skin. Acids and bases are in many of your household products. Vinegar is 5% acetic acid, and Drano is sodium hydroxide. Acid rain takes its toll on many of our marble statues. The acid rain is formed when gases like sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide react with water in the air to produce these acids. The sulfuric acid that is formed rains down on the limestone or calcium carbonate and converts it to carbon dioxide water and soluble calcium sulfate, which is why the statue begins to fall apart. Basic properties of acids. They taste sour. They conduct electricity in solution, which is why they act as electrolytes. They react with most metals to form hydrogen gas. They can change indicators, different colors, as you will see in a lab you're going to do. And they react with hydroxides, or bases, to form water and salt. These are the basic acids that you need to memorize. Hydrochloric, sulfuric, phosphoric, nitric, and acetic. These are the structures of some acids. You can see HNO3 has the one hydrogen that is attached to the oxygen. The H2SO4 is called a diprotic acid, contains two hydrogens, and phosphoric acid, H3PO4, contains three hydrogens. The basic properties of bases. Bases taste bitter, they feel slippery, they also conduct electricity in solution, so they are also electrolytes. They change indicators' colors, and they react with acids to form water and salt. When you put an acid and a base together, you do a neutralization reaction. The products are salt and water. The first reaction, nitric acid and potassium hydroxide, makes water and potassium nitrate. Hydrochloric acid and magnesium hydroxide makes water, magnesium chloride. Sulfuric acid and sodium hydroxide, again, makes water and the salt, sodium sulfate. The first definition of acids was the Arrhenius definition. Acids were defined as substances that produced hydrogen ions, or H plus ions, in aqueous solution. And bases were substances that produced hydroxide ions when dissolved in aqueous solution. The definition of acids and bases was expanded with the bronsted lowry definitions. This defined an acid as a proton or an H plus donor and a base as a proton or an H plus acceptor. The acids and bases always come in pairs. The reason that they call an H plus a proton is because if you remove the single electron from the hydrogen atom, most of the isotopes of hydrogen have no neutrons, so all that remains of the hydrogen ion is a proton. So the H plus ion is often called a proton. A quick review of the two definitions of acids and bases. The first, the Arrhenius, said acids produce H plus ions, bases produce OH negative ions. The Bronsted-Lowry says that an acid is a proton donor and a base is a proton acceptor. You will learn that these two definitions do not conflict with each other in any way. Again, acids are hydrogen ion or proton donors and bases are hydrogen ion or proton acceptors. In this reaction, HCl, being the acid, donates its proton to H2O. H2O in this reaction behaves as the base and accepts that proton, forming the H3O plus ion. In this reaction, HCl is the acid, the proton donor. H2O is the base, the proton acceptor. 
when the HCl transfers its proton to the water, the H3O plus or the hydronium ion is formed and the Cl negative ion remains from the original HCl. H3O plus is called the hydronium ion. Chemists often abbreviate the hydronium ion as the H plus or hydrogen ion, but in actuality there is no H plus ion that is floating around with the water. The H plus is attached to the water molecule forming the H3O plus hydronium ion. It is just often written as the shorthand H plus hydrogen ion. The full reaction with nitric acid and water, nitric acid is the acid or the proton donor, so it donates its proton to H2O, again forming the H3O plus and leaving the nitrate ion. This is the full equation for that acid-base reaction. We can abbreviate the hydronium ion as the H plus ion if we want to and we can write a simplified version that leaves the water out as well. In this reaction it appears as if HNO3 simply falls apart into the H plus and NO3 ion when in fact for this reaction to occur it is necessary for water to be there to accept the proton and form the hydronium ion which is simplified as the H plus ion. In this reaction NH3 or ammonia is classified as a base. In water, the water becomes the acid. The water donates its proton to the ammonia, forming NH4 plus and leaving the OH negative ion. Water is a substance that is amphoteric. This means it can act as both an acid and a base. And in fact, water will ionize itself. Two water molecules, one will act as the acid, one will act as the base. One water molecule will donate the proton, forming the hydronium ion, and leaving the hydroxide ion of the other water molecule. This is called the self-ionization of water. There's only a small amount of water that is in ion form, and the H plus and the OH negative are equivalent in a neutral solution, and the amount that is there is 1 times 10 to the negative 7 molar. Pure water is neutral because it contains very small but equal amounts of ions, H3O plus and OH negative. In an acidic solution, you increase the concentration of the H+, plus. the H+, plus becomes greater than 1 times 10 to the negative 7, and as the H+, plus increases, the OH negative decreases. This is an acidic solution. In a basic solution, you increase the hydroxide ion. That concentration becomes greater than 1 times 10 to the negative 7. When the hydroxide ion increases, the H+, plus decreases, and you have a basic solution.